on to you, uh, Libra. So you have the world, the emperor, and then you have the page of wands. So opposite zodiac sign, Aries, you're really in a situation, my dear, uh, uh, Libras. Um, you have a lot of nosy people, page of wands. You have some people that very much so are interested in you, that are interested in trying to get all up in your business. But the seven of wands represents a lot of you Libras may be kind of defensive or you may not want them to be in your business. Or you, you may be asking yourselves, why is it that this person is in your business? Right? A lot of you Libras are like, okay, well, what's up? What, what is, why exactly are, are you in my business, right? Um, the world and the emperor is about how, um, because a lot of people like you, they wanna get to know you. And the emperor and the, the world and the emperor, emperor rules over the world, world representing under their dominion, so or under their control, right, and influence. So a lot of you Libras, um, you just have a pick of of a lot of people. But this also shows that other people may be very picky when it comes to you too and how they interact with you and how difficult it can be for you Libras sometimes to be interacting with them because they want this perfection out of you. Right now, remember what it is that I said before the zodiac sign and what it represents doesn't just necessarily mean that it's always you are the one perpetrating it or doing it. Sometimes it's getting, even though you are the zodiac sign, your influence can come off and rub off on people to the point where other people can project that same type of image back onto you. So, with Libra, Virgo gets the bad reputation. For wanting perfection out of others no in actuality that's libra that's libra because the first six zodiac signs from aries through virgo aries taurus gemini cancer leo virgo all about self right and internal self-development as well as external development but it's all about it's all about learning how to take care of yourself right and be a a, a decent productive adult for yourself and then from Libra through Pisces, those six, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces, is all about becoming a productive member to other people, a productive member to society, family members, relationship partners, friends, co-workers, stuff like that. So Libras have that, you want other people to be perfect. That's not the case. That's just what you represent. But remember, sometimes that's projected on back onto you because you rub people, you rub off, your influence rubs off on people and such that way. So you Libras, right, are having people criticize you quite a lot and all up in your business and what you're trying to accomplish. And from what I'm seeing here is that it's a little bit too much attention for you where they're doing it because they're interested in you, but it's it's a stupid way to come off because how is being combative to somebody gonna turn them on and make them want somebody more, right? A lot of you Libras may not necessarily operate from that that perspective. Some of you might, but for the most part, right? A lot of you Libras may not operate from that perspective. So the seven of wands and the moon is about you now trying to to kind of warn or ward off or 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 make it seem like a bad idea for people who would come at you from that perspective so that they don't approach you like that. So it's more so about and then you have the moon. So it's more so about being silent, being quiet, not wanting people to be all up in your business and 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 you know moving in silence and kind of laying low and not necessarily being with any one person still dating but just realizing that you have a lot of people that are too caught up and fascinated with what you've got going on right and then the ace of cups but then they they're fascinated with what you've got going on but at the same and want to tell you what to do 
but then at the same time, they're not really willing to contribute. So the Three of Cups and the Magician now is about how, since that's the case, you Libras have to understand that don't take it too personally, but just be on your P's and Q's that a lot of people will mind your business. You know, five million people get stalked on average every single day. You know what I mean? And, and worldwide, mind you, five million, around approximately, could be more, could be less sometimes. Five million people on average every single day of the week. Right? That's a fact, by the way. You can look it up. So, people are minding other people's business way more than what you would think. And the Four of Cups is, for you, you just have a lot of, like, like stalkers and stuff like this. Some people may be stalking you because they, they want you to be up underneath their influence while at the same time they don't want you to win. So, so it's a very confused, lost individual or individuals, more than one, who seem to have a control complex where they're interested in you romantically. But the problem that they're having is they don't know how to let go nor do they know how to um, accept the fact that the two of you are not in competition with one another. But the magician, right? Some of these people, you have the magician, the lovers, and then you have the eight of swords, right? So the, the magician is about, these people tend to pop up, they're past they are people that you are acquainted with at the very least. These people that when you get to know them and you make the decision that you don't, my back itching, that you don't want to get to know them any longer. It's a situation for you, Libras, where in essence, right? In essence, you, you realize that your life is better off without them. But you've only known them for a little while. And that just goes to show you how fast things turned up because now you're the worst person in the world and like you're an individual that, you know, they they gotta they gotta stop. But at the same time you're the worst person in the world. And it's like it's like what are we doing? You know? Like what like if you're the heroes, why are you spying on the supervillain? You, you understand what I'm saying? keeping tabs on a super villain at all times and spying on them. It's like, no, that's some anti-hero stuff to do. It's not straight up and down hero on one extreme, you know? Then the lovers and the eight of swords now represent how, you know, um, and one of the, part of the reason what I'm picking up, part of the reason why it is that, you know, to go right back to the page of wands, wow, why they're so nosy in the first place right you're the people that you stop talking to when you are getting to know them part of the reason why is because they since you stop talking to them libra they don't want to have to deal with the idea of you going with and being a good match with somebody else they don't want you libras to be a good match with somebody else they want you libras to in essence just kind of see them as the as the greatest companion and the greatest match that you can ever have while at the same time they want to put you up underneath a boot of control so like it is that i said before it's a real it's a real control complex where it's like it doesn't they i mean you know their ideologies about control and how control is implemented is so warped, it doesn't make sense no matter where you spin. Once you, once, and because it comes in layers, right? This functions comes in layers. It's not one thing, it comes in layers. It's stacked on top of each other. And then the lower you go is the more paradoxical it becomes. But you think that you got, you've made sense of one thing, then you end up being in a situation where you now you now start going into another area where it doesn't make any sense right it's like it's like it's like domestic waters versus international waters 
It's like the world is really one ocean, really. The world, like the, the as far as water is concerned, the world is really one body of water, really, if you look at it. It's just that the world is broken up from the land masses and chipped off and stuff like this. But when you actually look at it for the for the water and then you have like the countries and the states and stuff like this and, you know, the, 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 the earth that we all live on. When you look at it, right, the world is really one body of water in that sense. The reason why it breaks off into creeks and lakes and rivers and stuff like this is because the land, the land masses causes it to to break off and to separate and to fracture into that so what am i saying i'm saying that i'm saying that that's where their own level of being lost or confusion comes from they do not understand their own their own control complex within themselves all i know is you libra you libras were getting to know somebody that you don't talk to that you don't take seriously you don't want to have around you that is very much so interested in you that will not let go of you and thinks about you quite a lot. And they are, they are, if they can mind your business and stalk you, then they will. But they are also interested in figuring out or hoping if you'll ever come back one day, right? And 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 have them and overlook everything that they did so that that way they can feel comfortable and justified in continuing to disrespect you so let's clarify the uh lovers let's clarify the lovers judgment two of pentacles six of swords three of swords again they want to be able to feel comfortable doing the stuff that they did and now you leavers leaving them alone and breaking free, becoming independent from them and finding your own way and making sure that you're good wasn't really a part of the plan. The Six of Swords, for them at least, the Six of Swords and the Three of Swords, again, warped mentality. And you could see a lot of this type of warped mentality a lot, especially in today's world where you, on both sides, no matter what you're interested in, because you'll have people who will ultimately not uh, understand reality that people have their own choices and that there's nothing that a person can do to change a person's mind and heart. That's something that has to be done on their own, right? It goes right back into the same ideology of why I, I, I clown these dating coaches to, so I'm just using them as an example. I'm not picking on them. But I clown them because it's like the idea of like you'll ask some you'll ask somebody, how do I make such such interested in me? Oh, pull up with these this Gucci clothes or this 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 Ferragamo or this Chanel or these name brands and pull up in a fancy car, then they'll be interested. And it's like and it's like how do you change minds and hearts? The person's still not gonna want to be with you. The person is going to want to use you, using you and you having to dangle financial security in front of somebody's face or even least the, the, the illusion of financial security in front of somebody's face. Is it some sort of accomplishment that you got to always keep it away? It's not a relationship. The person hasn't changed their mind about you per se. And even if they do change their mind about you so quick, why would you want to hang around somebody who's so fickle in the sense that they could be this devil may care right they could be here today gone tomorrow at any second of any day seven days a week they just don't know so you you Libras are, are moving on to bigger better things and more trustworthy people that you're compatible with that's pretty much it comment on the video like the video subscribe to the youtube channel peace